All right, so this is the part number two of the series, Intro to Main Stage 3. And now that we know how to um, map parameters and assign everything so we can control it from our hardware keyboard, uh, today I want to explore a little bit uh, the channel strip and explain how everything works, at least how I, th I use it. So we have our first patch, which is a piano. Okay, and then we have a pad. And then we have a lead with no effects yet because I want to show you how I add effects to my instrument. And uh, here we have a, a blank channel strip with nothing on it. I'm going to use this blank channel strip to show you, uh, to explain everything that we see on our channel strip and I'm going from top to bottom over here we have a expression control here's our uh, setting slot when we click on it uh, we get a, a, a menu with a lot of choices and um, also we, we can um, uh, grab a patch and uh, I'll do whatever we want. Here is our gain reduction slot. Here's our EQ slot. Here's our uh, MIDI effects. And here's our instrument slot. All of these instruments is a main stage stock instrument. And if you want to use a third party plugin, um, you can go down here, um, audio unit instrument. And these are all my um, third party plugins like Omnisphere, all the native instrument stuff, effect expansion, east west, and uh, a few other stuff. And um, here's our audio effects slot, and here's our send slot, and our output where we can uh, decide where to send our uh, our instrument output. And uh, now let's go back to the patch with no effects. So we have our dry patch and let's say we want to add an EQ, we can go down here and under the audio effects and pick an EQ, channel EQ, but the quickest way I do that is by double clicking here, boom, here's our EQ and we can do whatever we want with the EQ. I'm not going to explain uh, how and EQ works today. We're gonna see that uh, in another video. Uh, right now I want you to know how our channel strip works. And now that we have our EQ and let's say we want a compressor, we just go here uh, in the gain reduction slot and double click and boom. I know a lot of people don't know this but uh, uh, this, these are the two easiest way to call up an EQ or compressor. And then but I don't want a compressor uh, and this patch at least not right now or an EQ I just wanted you guys to know uh, that's how you can call up an EQ and compressor on the fly and now what I want here is a reverb so we're gonna go here on the audio effects and um, reverb and let's say silver bird for now stereo so this is our dry instrument and here is with effects okay that sounds all right so oh okay so now when we have our eq if you click here here's our all our presets for for, for 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 the reverb so we can try uh, a preset that sounds sounds all right That sounds alright. And now let's say I want a delay. 
we can click on on that and pick a stereo delay for now okay now that we have a delay uh, and since uh, delay is a time-based effect we gotta make sure the tempo of the song so we are gonna go here click on the instrument and attribute and check this little box change tempo to I can't remember what's the tempo of uh, this is amazing grace let's set it at 135 I, I, I really can't remember so 135 yeah let's say it's 125 and, 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 and uh... all right it's not perfect but um, that's how how you do it and now uh, let's say I want a, a MIDI effect I I'm not gonna show you something specific right now. I just want to want to go through stuff so I uh, can show you how I do things. Let's say I want in ARP. Okay, so there you go. And um, this uh, this is the pan knob. So we can send everything to the left or everything to the right. I keep it on both sides. And uh, but let's say I don't want to add effects on the channel strip. The other way to add effects is by sending your uh, instrument signal to a bus, and it looks like bus three is already taken. So let's choose bus one, and by doing that, main stage creates an auxiliary channel. And uh, okay, let's turn off the arpeggio. Okay, so now let's say let's add the same reverb to the auxiliary channel. We can't hear anything, and that's because we have to turn this real little thing up. And we can also do that by uh, holding Option and clicking on it, and everything will go up to uh, 0 dB. Okay, so let's say I want a, uh, a delay. I can put a delay here, but I can also put a delay on a different auxiliary channel. So we are going to go here again, and bus, bus 2. And it creates another auxiliary channel. So now I can put a delay over here. Let's say echo delay. And let's do the same option. And I click over here. And, and this thing will go up to uh, 0 dB. Alright, so now why, why use a bus or auxiliary channel? That is so we can share this effect with other patches. Uh, when we add our effects on the channel strip, we can share them. We can only use those effects in for that one patch. And this auxiliary channels are going to be at the uh, concert level right here when we go up here. So this is all the auxiliary channels that we're using, that this whole concert is using. Uh, this one, I call this one a uh, smash bus for my smash piano right here. And auxiliary 2 is using a reverb, and auxiliary 3 is using a uh, echo delay. So now, if I go, let's say, here's the piano using the smash bus, here's the choir pad. So let's say, uh, I want to turn this off and show you how I use my auxiliary channels. Uh, click on Sense, bus number one, 
and here's our same reverb that we that we're using um with the other patch that I just showed you. So now let's just uh, click option and click over here. So here's our reverb. So then let's go to the bus number two. Here's our delay, the same delay that we're using uh, with the other patch. So do the same thing, option and click. So we're using the same effects on both of these um, patches and we can do the same thing to all the patches in our concert uh, that is the reason to use a auxiliary channel and have them at the uh, concert levels so we can use the same effects on all our uh, patches that needs reverb and delay and save our CPU and uh, Let's say I don't want to use this sense in this specific patch because I want to have a unique effect. So we have that. And uh, let's say this is a patch you just made and you want to save it so you can use it in Logic or another uh, main stage concert. So we all we have to do is select the patch and go up here and say um, go here save as patch and it, I already saved it I created this patch and I name it a deep choir pad so export if you're saving it for the first time it's gonna say save but uh, I'm going to replace because it's I already saved it, but uh, let's not do anything right now. All right, guys, so that's how um, the channel strip works. That's how I use it, and uh, and I hope this video was helpful. And uh, feel free to explore and do more with what I just show you. Don't just take what I did and do it the same exact way. Um, explore. Maybe you'll find something else, something uh, really, really cool. How to how main stage works um, that's how I use it and it works for me and uh, and yeah that's all and uh, please if you like this video subscribe leave a comment and share the videos and uh, I'll keep making uh, more videos like this uh, there's more more stuff to do in main stage but I'm gonna have to stop right now because I want to keep this video short for you guys and uh, yeah that's all. See you in the next video. Bye.